Hey folks, I'm Ray Latif. He's John Craven. We're at the 2022 Natural Products Expo West Show here in Anaheim, California. A pulsating show from beginning to end. First time since 2019. Uh, just remarkable in every level, at every inch of the show floor, in every hall. I, I'm so glad we're here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just great to be back. Lots of good energy. Tons of stuff to see. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, just so much to process. Absolutely. Uh, we tried to process uh, some of the best new products here at the show. Tried to cover every inch of the show. Um, I think we did. But just as a disclaimer, we may have missed your booth. And apologies if we did. But uh, visiting the booths that we did, we did see some pretty amazing stuff that we're going to talk about right now. You know, you can't talk about this show, in my opinion, without talking about what we saw at T. Lupita. T. Lupita is a maker of clean label hot sauces, grain-free and low-carb tortilla chips, and they recently introduced a new line of salsa matcha products. These things are really remarkable. I think a lot of folks call them uh, like a fly-by-jing type of product, fly-by-jing type of chili oil, but I feel like that really doesn't tell the whole story of T. Lupita. I mean, I think when people think about salsas, they think about tomatoes, jalapenos, onions, things like that. These are not those kinds of salsas. These are made with chili oil, uh, peanuts, pepitas, cranberries, things like that. Uh, you do eat them with tortilla chips, um, but they are a very, very traditional, uh, traditional kind of salsa uh, in that they don't contain fresh ingredients. And, uh, no tomatoes. I, no tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it, but the thing is, like, the flavor, the spice, I guess just the whole mouthfeel, the whole experience of, of trying these salsas was something that is always memorable. And when I talked to people about their experience with it, they were just as excited as I was. Switching gears to beverage, how about the Rise Brewing Co. Nitro Shot? Uh, that was some really interesting innovation. Um, you know, walked up to the booth, see this little box. Uh, inside it is this little cartridge, which... Uh, basically, it's meant to be uh, used over a glass of water. Or they were suggesting vodka if you wanted. <laughs> uh, I think I actually mixed mine with more rise cold brew, but uh, you squeeze it and kind of point it at the glass, and it basically shoots out a shot of rise like nitro cold brew that's concentrated. Um, really interesting packaging format. Um, you know, seems like there's a lot of potential application for that. Um, and just, you know, super fun to see. What Rise is coming up with, they never stop innovating over there. Now, there was a lot of ice cream exhibited here at Expo West. However, uh, I thought I tasted some of the best ice cream I've ever eaten in my whole life, and it was plant-based. Milkadamia, a maker of macadamia nut products, including milks. Uh, they have a new line of yogurts, I believe. Uh, a whole bunch of new products that they were showcasing at Expo West. Also introduced a soft-serve milkadamia nut ice cream. Oh, my goodness. This was an incredible product. Um, you know, when I was talking to the folks behind the booth, they were like, yeah, melcadamia nut is kind of a no brainer as a base for ice cream because of the fat, because of the oils and what I tasted was somehow even better. And you know, soft serve is usually loaded with a lot of things that are not good for you. I couldn't find a single thing in this product that wasn't simply amazing and better for you. Well, I'm sorry to have missed you uh, eating a nice soft serve ice cream, but uh, you know what might go good on uh, plant based soft serve? Some plant based bacon. Always. Which is uh, exactly what we saw over at Plantera Foods. Uh, really incredible product. Looks like bacon, has the consistency of bacon, tastes like bacon. Um, I mean, just mind blowing that we've gotten to the point where we can create plant based uh, meats like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there were plant-based foods all over Expo West. I think, you know, what was cool is that you weren't losing any of the flavor. You weren't losing any of the consistency. You were getting everything that you wanted out of the plant-based version that you would out of the animal-based version. And that seems like the holy grail that everyone's been trying to achieve and finally has in so many ways. Yeah, for sure. No compromise anymore. I think that's, you know, that's a huge selling point. Absolutely. All right, Ray. Well, I did not get to try this, but you keep talking about this kimchi drink. Yes, this is actually something we also talked about in the most recent episode of Taste Radio. Mother-in-law's kimchi came out with a drinkable kimchi product. They call it a mull kimchi. Right on the front of the uh, jar, it's, it's, it tells you, drink your kimchi. Uh, mentions for fermented probiotics. That it's vegan, low calorie, zero sugar. You know, a lot of people ask me, what's the weirdest thing? Well, and I don't want to call it the weirdest thing, but what's the most like interesting thing that you had at Expo West? And this is certainly fitting the bill. You drink 
a fermented beverage with little bits of kimchi in it. I know that sounds like something that might not, might not be the most appetizing thing, but I'm, my mouth is watering at how good this product was. Don't expect to see this in the cold case with other beverages, but do expect to see it next to pickles, uh, sauerkraut, kimchi, other things like that. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to try it at Expo West, I feel bad for you because it really was one of the most innovative things I've seen in years. Now, John, I've been raving about all the products I like. I know there were some products that you really enjoyed as well that didn't have anything to do with fermented products or kimchi. Yeah, getting a little away from <laughs> kimchi here, but uh, really enjoyed the new uh, shelf-stable chocolate-covered candy bites from Dream Pops. Uh, they also have uh, some new chocolate syrup products that they're doing, you know, branching out beyond just frozen products. Um, and, you know, like the frozen products, uh, they're really good. It's basically... Uh, the candy bites are kind of a junk-free candy, almost like a consistency of like a Butterfinger type of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that really expands the Dream Pops lineup nicely. Well, speaking of something that's chocolate covered, Julie's, uh, a maker of high quality organic dates, recently launched a Raisinets type of product where it's chopped up dates that are chocolate covered and they are fantastic. You know, as a replacement for those Raisinets types of products, this is the better for you, much healthier version. And they have a blood orange variety that really, really fit the bill. Um, that orange and chocolate, such a natural combination. Add dates to the mix, you got a winner. Yeah, I mean, I'm not eating a lot of Raisinets like you are, but I do <laughs> think that, uh, you know, Julie's super smart to take the old uh, cover it in chocolate and uh, create a winner playbook, which, uh, yeah, those are super good. Did you get over to the sound booth and try their new lemon thyme variety? I did. That stuff is really good. It uh, tastes like a certain classic soda, 7-Up. Um, <laughs> Better than one, really. No, I mean, I, I think it's it's cool to see, like, you know, a flavor that when I tried it, it you, you do sort of taste this, like, familiar classic thing, but without the sugar. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that's a nice addition to uh, Sound's lineup. You know, their can line is looking great, and... I don't know, who doesn't like a sparkling beverage with the citrus flavor? Super refreshing. At zero calories and zero sugar, too. Can't beat that. Yeah, they co-developed that product with Kelly Levesque, who's the new partner for Sound. Uh, Kelly Levesque is a well-known health and wellness influencer. Um, you know, combine her expertise in the space, a great flavor like Lemon Thyme, and Sound has an amazing new product on their hands. Definitely, Ray. Another product that I had over at the North Hall that was super good was Vista Hermosa Tortilla Company. Tortillas... Uh, you know, for burritos and tacos, as well as tortilla chips, uh, real, you know, clean label product. And, you know, unlike some of the tortilla products that you'll buy, especially in, you know, the Northeast where we live, where you kind of don't want to eat the whole thing. These are like super flavorful, uh, you know, made through sort of a classic approach. And I think, you know, the brand is rolling out uh, in Whole Foods, which is uh, really cool to see. That is awesome to hear. Um, you know, another product that's rolling out in Whole Foods nationally this August is a product called Wonder Eggs. Wonder Eggs was created by a company called Crafty Counter, founded by uh, entrepreneur Hema Reddy. These are plant-based, hard-boiled eggs. Now, obviously, they're not hard-boiled like uh, animal-based eggs are, but I don't know e exactly how these things are made, but from the texture to the taste to the application of hard-boiled eggs in whatever you are using them for, this product just blew my mind. You know, I think there's eight ingredients total in this, and it, it almost seems like some sort of food tech play, but it doesn't at all feel like that. The packaging feels really approachable. Um, it feels like an item that people have been waiting for in so many ways because, you know, they don't eat eggs for one reason or another. But this option, um, you know, the approachability of what they've created is, again, going back to the original point, where there is no compromise. It looks like an egg. It feels like an egg. The egg yolk acts like an egg yolk. I, it, the, the, the snappiness of the egg white, it's really amazing. Yeah, I did not try those, but I saw someone eating one of them. And I, honestly, I was like, what's the deal with this hard boiled egg? Like, yeah. it, it looks totally, you know, like the real thing. Yeah, rolling out into Whole Foods uh, nationally this August. Um, and I cannot wait. You'll be buying them all. I will be. And what better to go with hard-boiled eggs than, of course, French toast. Yeah, Ray. Uh, well, that's a weird combo. But uh, <laughs> anyway, over at the Belgian Boys booth, uh, you know, they had the new French toast product uh, that they recently launched. It's a refrigerated product. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. It's like, you know, a piece of fresh-made French toast just packaged up, ready to go. 
uh, you know, along with all their other phenomenal products. Those guys are uh, doing some great work. Yeah, absolutely. The French toast that you can pop into your toaster and have a ready to eat product uh, two seconds later. Exactly. Well, not two seconds. It takes a little bit longer to toast things. But anyway, you use milk to make French toast, right? I think so. Can you use barley milk? Uh, great question. And uh, I think you're talking about the Golden Wing, which was... It's a new product uh, that's coming out from LA Libations, uh, I think through their Molson Coors partnership. Mm -hmm. um, really awesome tasting stuff. Uh, clean ingredient list, always important here, but you know, the flavor of it and also the branding, I think is something that will probably catch some eyes. It kind of looks uh, like a certain trending uh, can of water. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, really cool branding. I think that is launching pretty soon. You mentioned Molson Coors, the well-known beer conglomerate, and I have a feeling they're looking hard at the non-alcoholic opportunity as more consumers are demanding that type of product. Uh, and some of the products that are already coming out are pretty amazing, including that of Hoplark. Hoplark recently introduced a new 0.0, .0 product, including a variety that's called the Hoppy One and the Really, Really Hoppy One. Is that right? I think that's about right. But yeah, yeah it's their, the company's first products that are specifically marketed as non-alcoholic beer, which... Uh, I think it's going to be just a game changer for that company. I mean, you know, when you taste a non-alcoholic beer, a lot of times you're getting the essence of the beer, but not necessarily the, the beer flavor itself, especially on the hoppy side. The really, really hoppy Hoplark 0.0, .0 you would taste it and you would taste it side by side with an IPA and you really wouldn't know the difference. It is that good. Definitely. And I think, you know, it's pretty interesting to see a variety of non-alcoholic beer companies at the show, too. Sign of the times. Absolutely. You know, I didn't get to try the new Ithaca pickle hummus, but you did, and it's a pretty interesting collaboration with a pretty fantastic company. Yeah, uh, collaboration with Grillo's Pickles. Uh, pickles and hummus, like, kind of don't sound like they go well no. together, but uh, <laughs> really phenomenal. It's never surprising when Ithaca or Grillo's puts out an amazing product. That's all they seem to do. And seeing those companies work together, heaven. We've probably mentioned 10 or 12 brands at this point, but we, there are so many amazing products at Expo West. Let's do a couple quick hits. I really, really loved Galavan ice cream, which is an Indian style ice cream. Their cardamom variety was really, really delicious. Yeah, one that stood out for me, uh, Wisps, their new cheese and pretzel bites with uh, everything seasoning, everything bagel seasoning that is super good. I gotta mention Chubby Snacks, which is a maker of uncrustable type products, much better for you than the uh, traditional variety. They introduced a new peanut butter and grape jam variety that is fantastic. And also over at Saverly, who makes a variety of appetizer-style products, they have a new uh, cauliflower and broccoli bites, as well as a really interesting plant-based pig in a blanket. Also going to mention Core Shots. They introduced two new products, a wellness fire, an elderberry defense. Everything those guys make is amazing. I know we mentioned a lot of products and brands, and there's so many more to mention in segments that we'll be releasing on BevNet, Nosh, and Taste Radio. Stay tuned for those in the days and weeks to come. Until then, thanks so much for watching. I'm Ray Latif. He's John Craven. We'll talk to you soon.